human being who is old enough to open a Twitter account has at least one picture in their life. But no, 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 no. Apparently, I am wrong. Because there are people who still have eggs, eggs, as they are display pictures on Twitter. And people like that tell me shit like, I want to hook up with you. In 2013, you either have a picture or you are an egg. And how am I supposed to hook up with an egg? Anything I hook in you, you will crack. And do I look like an unborn chicken fucker? I don't want to do the shakalaka laka 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 in any egg. So why are eggs asking me out? God help me. I cannot go out with any egg. If I hold you tight, you will crack. If I try to kiss you, I will eat you. If I sleep on you, you will crack. If I bang bang you, that is the end of your life. So why are these egg people contacting me about hooking up with eggs as they are display pictures? Do they think that I am attracted to eggs or what? Or they think that because I am black, so I like chicken, which I do by the way, so they think that I like my chickens young up to the point that they are not even born yet. I am not a chicken pedophile. Yes, sir. Yay! M -M -E <laughs> da, 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 da. We are back. Turn on the mic. Back in the building. On the gift. Check, check. <laughs> woo -dee -woo. Sorry, no. <laughs> we are back. MMERadio.com. Also, watch us on the Ustream at um, Ustream.com uh, forward slash MME Radio. And hit us up if you uh trying to bounce. You can hit up the TuneIn app and type MME Radio in the keyword and listen to us on the go. Listen to our mixes. Listen to our recaps and everything that goes on. Um, Mr. Smoke. Mr. Smoke in the building. What? What? That's right. He got that's the right. S on the chest because he said it's smoky in here. Yes. Oh, I'm about to set it on fire. That's what I'm talking about. And if anybody asks, he wasn't in Fort Lee today. <laughs> and if you saw me inside a police car, it was probably in the back seat, not in the front. <laughs> He was riding shotgun. What, yeah. what? Yo, no, not for nothing. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Yeah. Three year anniversary, MME Radio. Thank you. This is the seed that got everything going. You know Thank what I'm you. saying? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank uh, you for having us here. Em Ember Radio Live representing. You know what I'm um, saying? DJ Smoke. Thank you for, for you know, everybody on Ember Radio Live uh, that you've brought in through the past. And, you know, um, shout out to, of course, DJ Clever. Uh, Mr. Pete, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, realism, we can't DJ forget. Realism, of course. What? He's the one. He was the, you know, the 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 alleyway into bringing He was the Cuban connect. That's he was the, right. He was the Cuban connection. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to all the other DJs. Um, Manny, right? Oh, uh, Manny B. Um, Manny I mean, B. not for nothing. We're going on our sixth season. Night, uh, September 20th. We're gonna start off. We're gonna have some amazing talent coming up. Uh, but Throughout our five seasons, we're talking about over 55 DJs, almost close to 60 DJs that can represent it from throughout the world, uh, just giving us love, showing us their skill, just coming just because they want to represent and uh, be part of the whole musical scene that is, and that MM Radio did start for us, you know what I'm saying? So no, Ember, Radio, Ember Radio Live gives nothing but praise. No, and definitely praises for you. Um, what do you got going on? You know what I'm saying? When, when's the new season starting? And you know. Well, like I said, September 20th, we got Omar Santana, like the old school freestyle Omar Santana. Uh, he's coming up. He's going to start the set out. We recently got signed, uh, DJ Realism and myself, uh, to omurderbookings.com. Uh, we're going to start uh, spreading the love to Australia, England, uh, Vegas. Uh, we have some crazy setups going on in South America right now. Uh, Omurderbookings.com. My shout outs to John Trumbull, the whole family out there. Hypertech, Mumbles. Uh, we have an amazing family of amazing talent, old school, new school. We even have DJ Shorty. She's a, a handicapped DJ. Wow. She DJs with a straw. 
from her mouth and scratches and, and cuts with the best of them. I have to see this. DJ Shorty, you know, I got to give love to my sister Much DJ. Much respect. Much you respect. Know, so real. So we're representing we're, we're worldwide. And this is, you know, a vehicle that MME Radio actually gave us to, to do this. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're spreading... Uh, like an infection around the world <laughs> so you know what as long as it's a good infection. oh it's a good infection. it's a love infection you know <laughs> that's what ember radio live mme radio is all about that's cool that's that sounds interesting and i'm happy you guys are doing your thing and then expanding that's what it's all about you know it's creating something and making it bigger and that's what you guys seem to be doing and it's a great thing and you know keep up i can't i'm definitely want to tune in to you Thank you, you thank you. And check you out and check everybody else well, out. Well, it's it's like what we call ourselves. We're Ember Radio. It's an Ember. It's a, it's a spark. Okay. And then from here, we're gonna set the world on fire. But it gotta start somewhere. Exactly. So let it start within us. Aww. You know. Yeah. So this is our mission. This is what we do. We do it for free. We don't charge nobody. Come, everybody comes through and represents. Uh, I mean, even shout out to DJ uh, CK from Sweden. She came down. She spun live at our show so many talents rob g uh frankie bones um realism clever clever has been here since the beginning since the first show uh he 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 believed in what we wanted to do and three years later boom we're here you know six seasons going on and with the love that mme radio is doing i mean god bless i mean we just keep forward exactly well that sounds pretty and um my question is uh how did that deal come about? Who, uh, like somebody reached out to ya or? Uh... Well, no, actually, uh, we had a DJ encoder who is John Trumbull. He is actually the the main uh, lead for OmurderBookings.com. He spun on the show. Uh, he saw the love. He saw what we're doing is all out of love, out of just genuinely trying to spread the love of vinyl music and the DJ talent. And that's what kind of the club scene lost over the years. It became about drugs. It became about, I mean, I hate to say it on air, but, you know, we're going to be honest. It's what kind of, how you roll in, what kind of Molly shit you're going to do on. It's more about the DJ and how they represent and how they make you feel the love for the music. And that's what we're trying to do live. It's, you never see us drinking, you never see us smoking, you never see us doing anything on air other than just performing for you. Drugs are bad for you. It is. <laughs> it is. It definitely is, you know. Uh, <laughs> no, his name is Smoke because he smokes the turntable. Exactly, I kill him. Yeah. But honestly, I actually stopped smoking five months ago. Uh, I'm a survivor from tobacco, and I, I gave that totally up. And this is something that I'm trying to spread the word. Oh, I love this spell. He's still here, three years down the row, and it's here. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, it's pretty interesting. Shout out to you. I know it's hard to. I'm about to go smoking. on three years. Uh, May 16th is going to be my third year now smoking so you cigarettes. Not smoking cigarettes? Wow, that's awesome. You know, keep yeah, up the good from, work. From 15 years of smoking to wow, almost three years of, of not smoking a, a single cigarette. It's hard for certain people, and sometimes when you want to commit to something, you really have to make that commitment. As much as, you know, some people smoke around you and you're craving it, but... It's hard for people. It's really hard, but congrats you, and congrats you show your will. You, you show your will and your determination and you want to be healthy. I mean, mad props to my dad. He just had a quadruple bypass mm-hmm. and he used to be a smoker and he gave it up. And if he didn't give it up 20 years ago, he wouldn't be here right now surviving from it. So now yeah. I'm taking this cue. Yeah. And, you know, it's something I don't mean to like preach. I don't mean to not. I used to be a heavy smoker, maybe two, three packs a day. Wow. And I gave it up. And I'm just saying, I feel much better for it. And I'm still here today spreading love with music. And that's what it's all about. Yes. Definitely, definitely. Um, piece of advice that you would give to anybody that's out there that, you know what I'm saying? That oh. wants to that wants to do the same thing, you know, wants to get into DJing. Oh, and- the, per, first of all, it's practice, practice, practice your skill. Practice your, your, your career. If this is forward what you want to put in front of people so you got to have you know the, the moves to back things up and then on top of that is persistence be present uh, you have social media you have all this kind of stuff record your mixes get it out there 
let yourself be known ingratiate yourself with old school people too because they can take you far if you practice what you preach and you got people following you those are the main two things that i can actually give as uh, advice for any up and coming dj i was djing since i was 10 years old i'm 43 my uncle was a disco dj he taught me how to dj on crazy like just vinyl and i still have those vinyls and i still have that love for djing 33 years later uh persistence and that's why i'm here and that's where blowing up worldwide and thanks to the vehicles like mme radio ember radio live and just the love of everybody just pushing forward you know what, what we was do. the first record that that you ever uh rocket by herbie hancock <laughs> <laughs> definitely i know my first record Wow. <laughs> and so you wanted to become a DJ because your uncle was a DJ? Did he teach you how to DJ? Well, he told or me the love. Something he that ta- you taught yourself how to do. Well, I, you know, it, I was, I'm, I am, and I still, I'm a big nerd, so I always have been. And from school, it was something that I went to like a prep school, and there was some way that I needed to break out, and I learned from my uncle, and I was like, I could do this. And from there, early on in my grade school, I, I rock with this breakdance crew, the Rocksteady crew. They took me into the city. They showed me what it is to be a performance DJ and at, at a tender age, like 16, 17. Wow. And um, I came back. I, I did the rave scene in the 90s. I competed for DMC. I've done all these crazy, crazy, just because of the love of the music and from what my uncle instilled in me just keep the beat and know what if you want to be an amazing dj you got to be an amazing dancer yeah as a disco dj he taught me that and my uncle danny i was his practice and in my older youth i thought i was doing the man moves yeah i was doing the girl moves i have to be (laughs) retaught so enough for nothing jersey pump that's right (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> no but thank but, you thank you for letting me you know just talk about it the, the crazy journey that has been to be us well, yeah no definitely um and we definitely thank you man uh you know you guys you guys laid it down you know what i'm saying like uh you know yeah you guys just laid it down week after week you know what i'm saying uh like i said shout out to club you want to say a few things you know what i'm saying club, you want to come through yeah, yeah. Let me. No, 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 this no, is no, my. No, this no, is my number one no, man no, right, no, here. right here. Uh oh. He wants nah, to touch me and say this. Hold that's on. right. <laughs> Ever since the first show, uh, just to tell you a little anecdote about the spot on a Friday night, 6:45. Show was starting about eight o'clock, and uh, just found smoke on Facebook uh, about a week ago. From there. Suddenly I say, Smoke, what are you doing? He says, I'm about to start the show. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing something. And I said, you know what? Gotta roll by. I said, just wanna check it out. And that happened that night he did it for three hours. He did it for two and a half hours almost. And I was so eager about going on the tables and doing the vinyls, which I haven't touched since I was into Serato in 2008. And it was crazy and it was fun. And ever since then we linked back up after we talked about mid 90s, early yeah. 90s. Wow. We never saw each other since since that time to then. Wow. We used to, yeah. We used to be the, the we used cool. to be the tape masters of Jersey City, Hudson yeah. County. Our our tapes yeah. were the top selling yeah. in the whole of Jersey City. Jersey City on the new records. Yeah. So we used to know that our So you guys back go way back and yeah. to reunite. Have you guys heard from Marco Garzon from Bad Boys uh, Entertainment? Um, Bad guys, uh, actually, entertainment. He does plays right now, does places like that. But I, I don't want to mention that. I don't want to get that well, much. The but love, is, from back then, the, the love know, is all the way from back then. Yeah. And we reconnected because of the show. And MME Radio just introduced it all. You know, and all right. that sounds good. No, uh, we have mad love, and we just keep doing what we love. I mean, what over three hundred something shows already? Yeah, wow, that's amazing. yeah. I have a podcast, yeah. uh, insane podcast that I gotta pull up. Um, so when's the new show dropping? Uh, September twentieth. Uh, for now, I know that we definitely have Omar Santana uh, opening up the set. Uh, we're trying to get Bad Boy Bill. We're trying to maybe talk to Mr. Cox, Mr. Carl Cox. Hey, yo. To try to do some craziness. Pause. 
pause with the Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Cox. <laughs> Mr. Cox. <Dude>. And uh, <laughs> I definitely want to see the girl. I definitely want to see her. Oh, no. Shorty yes. is somebody and you have to definitely I, check yes, out. I definitely want to see her. And I want to see, you got to bring back the father and the son. Oh, yeah, I know. Hypertech and Future Tech. That's right. That's mm-hmm. Omerta, um signed. Uh, he's an old school guy. I know Hypertech from the days of the limelight. I used to DJ the Shampoo Lounge out there, 94, 95. Wow. wow. Craziness. I used to do all the Peter Gation parties. I used to do the all James St. James parties, the blood parties, Circus Circus. Um, I'm known from back in those days. I think uh, somebody just made some toast or something. What happened? But uh, <laughs> 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 not for nothing. No, no. Um, Hypertech is now part of Omerta Bookings. We have Mumbles, Empress, Dr. Chekel from um, Peru. We have uh, so many huge names coming into the, the, the entertainment group. And we're going to put this forth through MME Radio and Ember Radio Live. Okay. So I hope you guys tune in. Definitely. Make it happen. Know. And that is going to be the 20. The what? The September 20th. 20th. September 20th. 20th? Yep. September 20th course on mme radio amber radio live uh that's right that's right it's gonna go down um you want to you get a little spinning yeah, yeah, yeah. commercial commercial i'll throw down a little, we'll tribal, a little and craziness. then we'll come back um, i mean as long as everybody promises to shake their booty i mean then uh, I'll, I'll spin some music <laughs> and, <laughs> <we're> twerking, <laughs> and then um we're twerking we're twerking We'll be back with uh, with Lady G and a special, special co-host, surprise co-host. Uh-oh. We're going to bring somebody back. So uh, we'll be back. MMEradio.com. Yes. Here we go.